What's up, guys? It is Damn It Bennett. We're back in uh, YouTube land again this week uh, for almost kind of a back to back Damn It Noob video. Uh, Damn It Noob is our video tutorial series on Twitch and getting started streaming. Um, it's something that uh, when I first started, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff out there that I thought was quality, I guess. Uh, and to call this quality, I don't know. I hope it's quality. We'll see. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. But anyways, um, this is our video tutorial series on getting started with Twitch, doing different things, how to how to make your stream your own, how to incorporate different cool things into that. And we've covered a bunch of different topics, which we'll, we'll try to link below here for you. But um, today's episode is something that has been asked about a lot um, over the last, uh, honestly, like 24, 48 hours. Um, and prior to that, since the charity stream that I did with Destiny Community Con uh, last week. Um, if you're unfamiliar with this, uh, Destiny Community Con was a huge event uh, planned uh, for the community by the community. And uh, I was honored enough to be part of the charity stream that led up to Destiny Con, uh, where we raised over a uh, half a million dollars for St. Jude. And, and that's like huge. Like, this is a major highlight of my, you know, Twitch career, honestly, to even be part of this. You know, I was on the smaller scale of broadcasters that were able to do this. But at the same time, holy cow, what an impact that our community has had on all of these kids and all of these people that that desperately need our help. So it was absolutely an honor to be there. Um, but something that I did during the charity stream at the end uh, got a lot of attention from people. So we're just going to play this video here. Uh, we've got it on mute. Um, but basically, at the end of our at the end of our session here uh, on the channel, we uh, compelled everyone in chat to uh, just uh, spam the hell out of every one of their favorite emotes. And in a second here, you're going to see it. It's going to start going off behind me. Um, and if you've ever been to any of my actual live streams uh, on my channel, you, you'll, you've seen this before. This is nothing new. Uh, but we actually kind of take it to the next level here um, in a second when we open it up all over the screen. And here it is. It's starting to go. It's going crazy. Uh, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a little excited. And I'm, I'm pretty sure there it is. I've opened it up for the whole screen. Uh, we're having a good time, and <laughs> everybody emotes. Everyone's emotes are going crazy. Uh, so it, it's been, it's, it, it was a lot of fun to do this. Um, but I've gotten a million questions like, "Yo, how did you do that? What did you do? How is that your thing? Uh, did you make that?" And I'm like, "No, I found it on Reddit. It's there for anybody to use. Uh, you know, I just don't think a whole lot of people know about it. So uh, I wanted to." Um, you know, share this information with you guys. I thought it was something cool that I really like doing. I think it's super cool. Some people may think it's cheesy. I like to use it kind of discreetly. I don't like it to go full balls to the wall like it was just there because that would interrupt your gameplay. But at the same time, it's fun to see uh, some emotes happen on screen. Everybody's like, yo, there's, those emotes just went off behind you. And I'm like, no, what emotes? I didn't see any emotes. What are you talking about? And they're like, no, they were there, dude. Watch, you know, and and it's it's fun to kind of mess with them, but at the same time, uh, it, it's been it's been a pretty cool thing. So we're gonna go and explain how to do this. We're gonna need OBS uh, up, and we're gonna open up the web page. And here we are um, again. We for our live stream purposes, we use OBS Classic. Uh, that is different than a lot of people. You can do this with inside of uh, OBS Studio. Um, it's just a, a little bit different. Uh, I use OBS Studio to record all of my YouTube videos. And then obviously I show you on OBS Classic how I do the thing that I do. So the web page, which I will link in the description, is going to be cbenny.com. Uh, and then it's forward slash kappa gen. And then we're under forward slash settings. But um, regardless, this is where you're going. Um, and this is the kappa gen. Uh, and basically, you can customize what and how you want it to happen. So right now, for our purposes, we have the better Twitch TV emotes, allow GIF emotes. Uh, I don't know why I have this because I don't use those those emotes, but they're there if someone wanted to use them. Um, you can get specific. So if you only have your your specific emotes and you only want those to go off, you can select only emotes from this channel. Um, and you can also allow your your moderators to use this command. Uh, or commands to make this happen. So we're going to extend the screen a little bit here 
Oops, wrong one. We'll just move that this way. And you can see that we got our, our rainbow cap ahead here. And uh, it's at 70 pixels. That's kind of where we have it set. I think that looks pretty good for what we're doing. Um, and you can, you can adjust that to however you want, whatever size you want to have it. It's up to you entirely. Um, we also have integration, some integration settings here. This is uh, Gain Wisp, which is, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a partnered streamer on Twitch. Uh, we're working our way towards that, I guess. But, um, you know, if people want to support me, uh, they can go through Gain Wisp to help support the channel, help us grow a little bit, help uh, show other people, hey, that people want to want to support you, you know, and it's a good it's a good thing. So when people subscribe to me, this also can have like a special thing for them. Um, so moving on, we get into the, the chat emotes. Right now, we've got it set up for the bubble animation. Now, the bubble animation is uh, just like it, just like you think it would be. Uh, let's um, let's let's pop in some 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 emotes real quick from our channel, um, and let's see here. This should work. Uh, there you go. So they just kind of bubble up on screen right there, um, and there's an unlimited amount of emotes per user. Uh, you can specify this to show each emote only once per message. So if people are just spamming lines and lines of, of emotes, it's only coming up once. Or, you you know, I don't know. I, I think that's weird, but I'd rather have all of them. It's fun. So uh, that's what this is for. This doesn't have to be an all-time thing. This could be, a, hey, at the end of the stream, let's get crazy. You know, um, you could also turn it on subscribe only. So only your subscribers have this perk to actually make the emotes happen, which is cool if you want an incentive to... To uh, you know, see those emotes on screen for your subscribers, go for it. You know, um, right here you can have this be set at one emote for every 54 seconds per user, or you can go all the way to unlimited. Right now, for this purpose, we are on unlimited. So, which is totally fine. You can choose whatever you want. I personally think that the emotes lasting for 3.7 seconds is is long enough. But one thing that you may have seen happen during the um, the test here is that you saw the emotes start popping all over the screen. And we'd actually like to have them pop just in the center. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to select this bottom area for them to actually spawn from. And we will now have them be birthed here and rise up so if we come down to the bottom we copy our code once again we come into our emotes our c l r browser and we paste them we will then now have the new spawn at the very bottom of the screen which how i have set up will be behind my camera um that way they will be behind me and then we'll float to the to the top of the screen and will be set. Now, that's up to you. You can have them full screen like we did in the video where it's going crazy. And all you got to do is you just, just got to draw it. You know, you just highlight the, the area in this spawn zone box and you're set. So for, for us right now, we just have this little right hand corner. That's where we want them to be to spawn and, and grow from there. Um, the other thing that you can do is the emote explosion, which happens for me um, during subscribers. So if someone subscribes to the channel, this will go off along with the normal subscribe, uh, you know, alert from, uh, Twitch alerts. I believe they're called, what are they called now? Streamlabs now? Streamlabs? It's their new name. It's new branding, I guess. Um, but anyways, um, the, the alert that happens with subscribers will be something along these lines. And we can't fake this one, so we kind of have to just test it out here at the bottom. So we'll go in here and we'll hit that. So this is what it would look like when someone subscribes to the channel along with the alert. Now, you can again choose the spawn zone for where this is happening. Right now, I've got it anywhere. So if you hit this command a bunch of times, it's, it's going to go off in random places inside of the 19 by 20, uh, you know, box that, or 19 by 20 by 1080 uh, box that we have going on because we've selected it. Now, if we want it to be a very specific area that that's gonna happen, we just highlight that here on this little spawn zone. It's entirely up to you. I do recommend syncing with the cloud. You will need to type in the channel. Um, and then that's when you come over here 
and you can copy that and you'll come in, you'll create a um, CL, CLR browser source that will then become what I call the emotes. You paste it in here. This is important. You do want to make sure you do it 1920 by 1080 um, to get the right resolution so it still spawns in that little area that you suggested. Um, but once that happens, you're golden. You're set. You can, you know, have people come into your chat. They can, you know, they can spawn or spawn. They can spam as many emotes as they want. And, uh, you know, you're, you're set. They all of a sudden just, they just start popping everywhere uh, from what you want. Um, you can get into um, really anything. These are all, you know, the ones that I'm, uh, you know, popping in now. You know, these are all my personal emotes. Um, but they they work with every Twitch and better Twitch TV emote. Uh, so you can uh, definitely... Um, you know, put it whatever you want in here and and make it happen. Um, obviously this is is damn it noobs, so we're gonna we're gonna spam the hell out of some some damn it noobs before we go. Um, but definitely, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, and and like and and want this. Someone just came in the chat and they're like, "What the hell is happening?" Uh, but uh, you know, this is something that can be fun. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Once again, make sure you like subscribe and leave some comments, but uh, have a great day. We will see you soon.